Welcome. Today, we're going to start speaking about modes. We're going through a journey from the introduction to modes, which is going to be the first two to three videos, up till the level required for A-level. Now, choose the videos where you think they're going to help you most. But the reality is that if you get your basics right, then everything else becomes easy. OK, so what is the mole? The mole is just a number similar to how the word dozen refers to the number 12. But what does it represent? The mole is the number equal to the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon 12. So it's a number, and this number is huge. It's 6.022 times 10 to the 23, OK? So that is six, pretty much with 23 zeros after it. It's a very big number. This is more than there are stars in the universe. This is more than there are sand in the Sahara Desert. This is a huge, huge number, okay? So where do we use the mole? We use the mole when we want to represent the link between the microscopic and the macroscopic. We cannot see the atom. So if we can't see the atom, then we have created a number which we can even find experimentally, okay? Today we're gonna to be speaking about that, but this number is proven to be correct. And we're gonna turn an atom into a mole. And pretty much we change the RAM into, the, uh, in, uh, into grams. So where do we use it? To change the RAM into mass. So, okay, so the RAM is something that is microscopic, okay? We cannot see it. Whereas the mass, it is macroscopic, okay? The mass is macroscopic, okay? Something that we can see. Okay? Now, here we have a few questions that we can actually start to work out. Now it's important with these questions, it's not about how fast you go through them. It's more important to get them correct. Okay? It's more important to get them correct. As long as you take your time and get them correct, we're fine. You can then move on to the next video. But if you don't think them right, feel free to message me, feel free to call me, and we can then figure out what's going on. We can then try to see what the problem is. So for the first one, okay, and this is very important, for every question, for every question, okay, we need, we need to write all the statements, okay? For every question, we need to write all the statements. So for the first one, we write one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms, okay? 4.55 moles equals how much? And this will therefore be 4.55 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms, okay? And this is equal to 2.74 times 10 to the 24 atoms. And this is going to be our answer for this question, okay? And this is going to be our answer. 2.74 times 10 to the 24 atoms. We can do this the other way around. So how many moles are present in 3.55 times 10 to the 24 
lead atoms. And we'll do it the same way. One mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. How many moles equals to 3.55 times 10 to the 24 atoms? Okay, and here we will then work it as 3.55 times 10 to the 24 divided by 6.22 times 10 to the 23, which is equivalent to 5.90 moles. And again, it would be 5.90 moles of lead atoms. Okay, and this is very important. Okay, so these conversions, they might seem easy, but you might need to practice them until they are inbuilt in your system. You should not be thinking about how to do this. Then we can also use the mass. So here in both these cases, we do not know what the mass of one mole is. So we first need to find the mass of one mole of aluminum sulfate and the mass of one mole of sulfur hexafluoride. Okay, so we start one mole Al2SO4 three times is equal. Okay, 27 times two plus 32 times three plus 16 times nine, which is equal to 342 grams. And from here now, we can then continue working as we were doing before. So one mole equals 342 grams. How many moles, or what is the mass of 12.34 moles? Equals how much? So this will be 12.34 times 342, which is equivalent to 4220 grams. Now, I would not recommend personally to change that answer to kilograms, okay? But it should not make a difference. It should still be the same, okay? For sulfur hexafluoride, the question is, how many moles are present in 1.223 grams of sulfur hexafluoride. And here we need to find, first we need to find the number of, the mass of one mole of sulfur hexafluoride. So one mole SF6 is equal to one sulfur, which is 32 grams, plus six fluorines, which is 19. Okay, and this is equal to one four six grams. So here we would have one mole equal one four six grams. How many moles equals 1.223 grams? Okay, and here you're gonna have 1.223 grams divided by one four six grams, which is equivalent to 0 0.00838 moles. Remember, don't forget the units, okay? Now that we've worked a few examples, you have a worksheet attached in the description of this video. Please go and work it. And once you finish them, you can move on to video number two. If you think you know this, and if you think you're comfortable, there is no need to do them all. Just do a few of them, maybe multiples of three or multiples of four, just to confirm that these are correct and to confirm that you are, you are building from the bottom up and what you've done as an introduction, you are very comfortable with. Thank you and I'll see you in video number two.